We'll now welcome to the program the head coach for the Jefferson Cougars softball team, head coach Desiree Waters. How are you doing today, Coach Waters? Hi, I'm good. How are you guys? We're doing well here, and uh, we see uh, you guys got a no-hitter last night for a, a big victory over Martinsburg as you uh, challenged yourselves this last weekend, and now you're getting into conference play. Uh, what have you liked from your team so far this year? I um, have to say, um, so far, they're they're bouncing back pretty good after some tough, tough losses from this weekend. Um, I, I think the good news is, is we played some tough teams um, right off the bat, um, so we can really gauge ourselves and know where where we need to be um, as a program, um, as, especially as you mentioned before we go into um, conference and, and sectional play um, with Washington coming up this week. Coach, uh, your team returns some uh, key pieces from last year, Becca, Becca Munslow, uh, Shelby Harris, Taylor Presley, just to name a few that returned from last season. Uh, coming off of a state championship, how do you think this group, uh, I guess, on paper looks to try to repeat? Um, I think we look good, um, but well, what's said on paper it can is a lot different than what happens out on the field. Um, as we've seen, anything can happen. We've already been beaten twice this season. Um but, you know, we're looking to hopefully see those teams again later later in the year. Um, but the girls have it in mind that, you know, that they can do this um, and that, you know, it's, it's theirs to, to still go out and, and achieve. Um, nobody can take from us what we've already achieved last year. It's just um, our turn and our focus to, to stay focused to go get another one. Um, so we're taking that game by game, um, building a tough schedule to help us do that, um, rotating our pitchers um, to get them more experience for some of these tougher games. Um, so we're all preparing from the coaching staff down to the girls to, uh, to try and get us another one, but um, also not getting ahead of ourselves. We know we have to uh, win plenty of games to make it there first. As we mentioned last year, it was the first time in program history you guys were able to win the state championship. Uh, obviously, it's a brand new season this year. So has it been tough for you to tell your team that and to make sure that they're focused on this season and not still living in the past? Um, it, we had to have the conversation, um, you know, and, and what we expect this year. That's actually something that we've been doing since I've, I've been a head coach. We have a little um, meeting to talk about our goals and, and what to expect and a little bit of what's different from last year to this year and what we still need to do. Um, but also talking to them about um, just not letting the pressure get to them um, because like we're saying, what's ours is ours. We've, we've accomplished what we've already accomplished and now this next title is anybody's for the taking, including us. Um, so just trying to, to stay focused. And um, once our games have started rolling, I think they're doing a good job of forgetting last season and staying focused on, on this year. And, Coach, you know, we talked a little earlier about how you wanted to challenge your team with those early season games down on the southern end of the state. Are there any other teams you have on the schedule or, you know, out of out of conference, out of area games that are going to challenge your team this season? Yes. <clears throat> so we, um, let's see, we scrimmaged um, Stonebridge, um, Thomas Johnson. We scrimmaged, um, we started off with a game against Heritage. Which, um, they're not a bad team. We play Tuscarora today. Um, then we have Washington tomorrow. We play Woodgrove. Uh, we have a doubleheader against Woodgrove. And then during spring break, we go back down to Charleston to play Nitro, um, Spring Valley, Hurricane. We're trying to get Herbert Hoover back on the schedule. Um, they're five-time AA state champion. We were supposed to play them Friday, but got rained out. Um Lincoln County on the schedule also, who was a state contender last year. Um, and I think there might be one more I'm missing off the top of my head. But, um, yeah, so we've we've been lucky to get some of those big Virginia teams squeezed in since they ha kind of have a tight schedule. 
Um, but yeah, so we, we have a, we have a lot of, of good competition on our schedule this year. Coach, your team uh, takes on Washington tomorrow. A good uh, sectional rivalry. We will be there for that game. Um, they're off to a good start. What's your thoughts on uh, Washington this season? Well, they always they always have a good program. Um, it's nothing to be taken lightly. Um, you know, it, it's always it's always a tough game between between us and and Washington. So um, we're excited to be playing again this this season um but again just a little bit of remembering how difficult it was to get by them last year that you know it's not just we're going to have to have we're going to have that same problem um again this year so and with that game tomorrow against washington you guys played them in the sectional championship last year it was a very intense series of games uh, that you guys won two out of the three so with that um what have you seen from them this year and what have you seen from the EPAC as a whole so far? Um, well, unfortunately we haven't gotten to see much just because we've been playing, uh, playing out of conference, but um, I believe Washington played uh, Musselman just the other day and maybe Hampshire and they're doing exactly what we expect um, for some of the other, the other EPAC teams. Um, so, you know, again, not not to be taken lightly by no means um and uh i haven't really gotten to look look much into the other teams yet just because we've been away um so but we're looking forward to playing the other epac teams also and coach i understand you guys have a fundraiser coming up here at the beginning of april if you want to tell the audience what what the fundraiser is and how they can be a part of it yes um so we have uh, our bingo fundraiser um, on April 2nd. Um, the doors open at 12 and bingo starts at 2. If anybody wants to join in, they can purchase a ticket from myself, from a player, contact us on the Facebook page. Um, if you have any businesses that are want to donate um, a bingo basket or a cash prize or concession stand food, um, Anything that um, can help us uh, raise money at the event, we would love to do that, too. Um, as far as businesses goes, we also take sponsorships, uh, we, and we can get you a sign hung up at the field. So, yeah, we, ap- we appreciate uh, any and all support we get from the community. All right, Coach, thanks for the time, and we'll see you tomorrow night for a good sectional game against Washington. All right, thank you very much. That was head coach of the, wa- or, excuse me, the Jefferson softball team.